Hello everybody, it's Jeanette Vilda. Um, this is my design team project for Louise Heinzel. Um, and just so you know, I've been suffering with a bit of a cold, so I'm going to be sipping the chai that my husband lovingly made for me every once in a while, so sorry about that. And I have also been waiting for a day that wasn't um, dreary. Because we have European lights, they do not mesh with my camera, and so they flicker, so I have can only use uh, daylight. <laughs> so, and it's been storming, so. Ah, sorry. Like I said, I, if I don't drink, I'm gonna sound like a mutilated frog, which seems to be happening anyways. <laughs> okay, so the uh, inspiration for this journal um, my mother-in-law gave me a whole batch of DDR children's books. And one of them was about the life of Mozart. And basically his childhood, really his childhood. And it was so cute and so sweet. And I, I loved, I play piano. I've been playing since I was a little kid. And I love music, and of course I love Mozart. Uh, Mozart and Beethoven, probably two of my favorites. Um, so I just really wanted to use that book so badly in a journal. And when I was looking at so the, the, the images in the book, I was looking at um, Louise's images, and I thought, oh, this, it's called Modern Vintage Fuchsia, is the kit that I used. And you'll see there's a page that was just all these colors was in it. And I thought it just looked so pretty together. So this is very much a music journal. My love of music um, captured in this journal. So there is a lot of music pages and they're um, between 1858, I believe, to 1910 is the ages of the pages. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Like I said, I'm going to be sipping a lot, otherwise really sound like a frog. Okay, so um, this is just a Tim Holtz uh, book plate, and there's still room to slide in a little thing, or you can just write right there. This is a cloth um, that I had in my stash, um, and back is just plain. thought it really picked out the pinks that are in the book. And then this is a beautiful purple um, sari ribbon with so a hook closure. So, and then, so in the book, so this is from the book. And like I said, it goes through his childhood. And the cute thing was is that in the beginning of the book, you had this little image of the child Mozart and then at the end of the book you had another image that is seen this one in paintings and pictures but of course it was drawn in for the book and so I just thought it was really cute to have little Mozart growing up to big Mozart by the end of the journal so <laughs> um, so in the book it's like I said it's uh, Louise Heinzel's vintage um, modern fuchsia, but also um, I used some, I'll, you'll see those later, um, just some pictures of musicians, um, different things of history, you know, music through the history, um, and that, those are from art vintages, the musicians. Um, set. It's 310 vintage paintings. So I had a lot to choose from and I um, chose ones that, you know, either had the colors or kind of went with the Mozart time frame, but you'll see that. So anyway, the kit comes with a number of nice tags as well as some journaling cards and a couple of coin envelopes. So, and again, this is very much a journal journal. <laughs> So lots of blank spaces for writing. And this was an image on the from the book that just 
quite, um, the page didn't quite work in the um, book, but I just love this little image of Mozart writing with his dad looking on. So I just put that on the paper that went with. And then throughout, like I said, I love Mozart and Beethoven. So I found a number of quotes online attributed to Mozart and Beethoven. Excuse me. And so they are sprinkled throughout the journal. And while, you know, all the images and stuff tend, are, you know, because the book was about Mozart, it's about, Mo, you know, the most of uh, the pictures are Mozart. But the Mozart's quotes are kind of funny. Um, if you know anything about Mozart, that will not come as a surprise. And Beethoven's are very fluid and poetic. It was just kind of funny. But since I loved Mozart, or sorry, Beethoven, I had to include his quotes as well. So I'm not going to read them all to you. There's a few that are really cute that I'll read, but some are pretty long. So again, throughout, it's um, the pages are only the modern fuchsia, some of the um, music pages, and from the book. So, oh, and so here's a so we have a little belly band from the kit, and a couple of, this was actually a page that I was trying out and made a nice little journal card. Then I also, um, if you look at the um, images from the kit, it has a splashed with white paint look. And so I decided I wanted some more pages. And so this is simply craft paper, not tea dyed paper. I don't like to use tea dyed paper simply because um, most of my books go to my family and they like to put photos in them and tea dyed paper is not archival safe. So uh, I prefer to use craft paper if I want, you know, that kind of look. And so what I did was I had a Tim Holtz, uh, I think it's picket fence spray and sprayed it and then took the, the spray off the bottle and just la 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 at the pages too, so that it would kind of mimic this splashed look and it really softened the brown of the page so that's the other and then some staff paper music staff paper this is vintage um, 19 around 1920 so here what I've done throughout is um, there the, this kit comes with just a ton of these gorgeous little tags some of them are um, I think I would say half are this kind with really um, this background dots and I backed it with there's a background paper in the kit so I backed it with that background paper and then there's another the other half is very much all these beautiful colors and so I used both and so on um, on the so throughout sorry I've taken the images from the uh, art vintages and tried to, you know, pick ones that kind of complemented the colors, but they're all musical paintings. And I used those as pockets for a tag and then a quote. And I think that it turned out really beautiful. So I really like that. And here's another music page. Again, I think this one is from like around 1910 or so. Beautiful. Here's another, here's one of the book pages. Um, Consummate Mirror, Dance With Me. <laughs> this is one of the coin envelopes from the kit. Um, I haven't put anything in. I like to leave things kind of blank so that whoever's re receiving the journal can really fill it up and do what they want to with it. And this is just a little purple paper clip to go with the purple with a couple of beads that I made. Oh, I didn't make the beads I made. You know what I mean. <laughs> Makes me sound more amazing than I am. You know what? We'll just put that to the side. Okay. And I didn't do a lot to these book pages just because they were so cute. I mean, I just really loved this book. And as you can see, it, it really, the colors 
um, is what inspired me to use the modern vintage fuchsia because it was just so much of the pinks and the purples and the deep colors really pretty. So on all of the um, ties in the middle of the signatures, I just punched out from the kit papers little circles to decorate the strings. music paper. This is a great book. It um, has all of the, the uh, lyrics and then of course the music. So, oh and also the pages I also had a shimmer spray. Uh, Lindy Stamp Gang I think and also so just a little bit of shimmer just to give it a nice little. You probably can't see that on the video but it has it's just a very subtle shimmer. So again, a little picture with another tag. And some of these, um, like I said, I'll see one that is more decorated, more staff paper. I always like to put a little tab, like a little grabby thing when I have a flip out. I just think one, it decorates it up a little bit without taking away from your ability to journal. And it also gives you something to tell you, hey, this flips out. Use a paper. And next signature, another stack paper. This is from, um, this is actually Romeo and Juliet. And this is the one that's from 1858. Another little tag. And there's one quote I'm going to have to read because it's just too hilarious. I'm just going to flip through kind of quickly. And these are the, like I said, there's the ones that have more of the color on them. So they're kind of half and half and I still back them with the background paper so that there's more journaling, put a picture. And then um, I chose a few of the images. I like to do 3D imaging um, with little pictures like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, I believe there's three in here. Um, I just love them and they really lended themselves to turning into a 3D photo. So it's kind of showing up on the video. Um, I probably should have had the original to show you the difference. It just really accents each of the pieces and really makes it pop up. And I, just, I love doing that. Um, I actually sit in my room and just, um, I have tons of pages and just sit and cut and then 3D them up and have a box where I just throw them in. <laughs> like, I uh, probably won't use these, but I love making them so much. Some of these images were just so pretty. And like I said, I um, picked the ones I thought that nicely complemented with the paper. And here's another one of the 3D images. The tag, I think that one. I don't know which artist did this um, painting, but look at the shine on those dresses. It just looks so lifelike. Gorgeous painting. <laughs> And I really loved doing the 3D on that one. The, so I wanted these on some of these music papers, but of course they were pretty thin. But I didn't want to take away from the music paper. So what I did, um, I don't know if I can get it, and you probably won't be able to see that, but what I ended up doing was just taking a piece of vellum and then adhering it to the page. It doesn't take away from the page, so you can still see all the beautiful music, but it gives it, you know, a little more heft, so that the, because the, um, the paper is really thin, um, 
as you can see, it's really thin. And so that just gives it a little bit so that, because especially since this is really heavy once you put the different layers on. So this is the image that inspired me to use the vintage fuchsia. This is, was in the center of the book. And just this really sweet little image of Mozart playing for the court. And just all the purples and, of course, the pinks. And so, it, like I said, it went, you know, so nicely with the colors of the kit. So it turned out nice. So another tag. This, I didn't print these out twice. There are, a, she has made a lot of beautiful tags for this kit. So print it out once and you've got enough to fill up your journal. Okay. Um, one of the other things I like to do is pergamano and embossing on parchment vellum um, and I like to also color my vellum and so this is a uh, parchment vellum and I there's some uh, not special but they're um, they work really well on coloring the vellum and you just there's a pergamano oil that you can use that will break down the pigment and then it, um, it nicely adheres to the vellum. So this was plain clear vellum that I made into a little pocket. Um, I just a picture from, or sorry, a sticker from my stash and one of the journaling cards. And again, that's on a paper clip with a couple of little beads. Stack paper, take a drink. <laughs> Excuse me. I just love being sick and sounding like a frog. Um, this is actually one of the journaling cards and I just used it as a pocket for a tag in another journaling card. This is the, <laughs> this is my absolute favorite. I just, this quote, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh boy, I have to use that. So what's even worse than a flute? Two flutes. <laughs> and so I was looking at the pictures and I saw this little derpy old guy playing the flute. I was like, oh boy, that has to go in there. So I just love it. And this page with the greaves just, it went so perfectly. So love that quote. <laughs> I like flutes, so, <laughs> yeah, but it was funny. And again, this is, um, so the other side of here is another one of the 3D images. So this um, page is, again, has the piece of vellum to give it stability. And then another image from the book that turned into a little journaling card. And again, just the color on these, it's just gorgeous. Whoever painted that originally was just a master because that looks like silk. And this is just another journaling card and turned it turn, turn, into a pocket. And here's another um, vellum parchment that I colored and just used, made it a little envelope and put in a little, one of the journaling cards um, to act as a little place to write. So kind of an envelope, but not a envelope you would tuck anything to, because you could if you wanted, but just a cute way of having a little journaling spot. And again, I colored 
the vellum. And then um, I have a fairly old, uh, it's actually a book where um, they've taken newspapers, um, excuse me, uh, and um, it's just a compilation of all the different newspapers. And this page was in there and I asked my husband to translate it because the book, you know, it's all German. And it's actually about a man who goes off to war, gets injured. Um, he gets healed and then he meets a woman and falls in love and ends up becoming a tailor. But for me, um, so this is actually the beginning. It, I don't know. First, I, you know, I, of course, because I love Mozart, I've seen them in love movie Amadeus. And it just, it just really made me think of the story. I just picture this is him in his bed with the, um, the guy that comes and talks to him and convinces him to write the requiem and him with his wife and yeah okay the sewing doesn't work but <laughs> we'll pretend Mozart sewed his clothes for his concert and that was a very typical thing so yeah <clears throat> but like I said <laughs> I know it's not but it just made me think of it and of course again I just love the pictures and it went so well so we're pretending we're going to move on <laughs> and this is one of the coin envelopes I just glued it to the page to be a holder for one of the tags now that one of the images is I love vintage old paintings they're so pretty and then here's another of the 3d images this is the last one for a tag. And again, the back is with the vellum again. And this is the end. And then this is from another book. Um, I think this is 1880 something. And it was just a little page about Beethoven. And so, of course, I had to put that page in here. And I only had this one page. It's not quite finished, but I only had the one page. So um, what I found humorous, and of course, I can't read it because it's in German. And I only read very, very little in German. Um, but it has a picture of uh, Beethoven's Grossvater, which is Beethoven's grandfather. So why it doesn't have a picture of actually Beethoven, who knows? But... <laughs> Beethoven's grandfather. So anyways, that tucks into old Mozart. And that's the end of the book. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, I absolutely adore music and making this was one of those uh, labors of love. I really enjoyed um, especially finding those quotes. So I hope whoever receives this enjoys the quotes and really enjoys the music aspect of it. So, so please like and subscribe. Go check out Louise Heinzel's digitals. They're beautiful. And hope you have a great day and I will see you later. Bye-bye.